Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I just wanted to show you this new Echo Dot 3 that I just recently picked up, show you guys kind of what it looks like hands on, and compare it to its previous generation being the Echo Dot 2. Now, as you guys can see right off the bat, it is much larger in person than I was actually anticipating, quite a bit bigger. And overall, the design quality is just super premium compared to its predecessor. In any case, there really isn't much that is different comparing the two models aside from the design aesthetics. Really, there are two major selling points here. The all new redesign um, it includes four uh, microphones right at the top instead of the one in the very center. There's actually a few more in this guy around the edges as well, but they redesigned the microphone interface on it. Um, the design is bigger with a larger speaker for better sound quality essentially. And surprisingly on the very back, if you guys will notice, there are two circular dots here, one being the power port and one being the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there to connect external speakers compared to its predecessor, including the USB micro adapter right here and the headphone port as well. So now this guy comes with a stock power cord um, in the box. I mean, this one did too. It came with a power cord obviously, but um, it was actually a micro USB with a charging brick as well. So minor design changes there. Overall, the sound quality is just incredible on this new device though. I was thoroughly impressed um, with how good it sounds. Honestly, that was mainly the reason why I'm making today's video. Just to show you guys the new Echo Dot 3. This is in the Heather Gray color wave. It actually comes in a black variant and a white variant as well. Can't think of what those are called off the top of my head. I think one is sandstone and I can't think of what the black one is called. Um, but in any case, comes in three color waves, available for $50, just like this guy when it originally launched. All right, well, since the sound is the most important and newest part of this new Alexa, let's go ahead and do a quick test. I know this isn't the most telltaling, but in any case, let's go ahead and play Pandora on this guy and just get a sense of how the speaker sounds. And then I'll plug in this guy and we'll uh, compare the two side by side. Getting the last Pandora station you listen to, Mac Miller Radio. Wow. Alexa, pause. Alexa, pause. Well, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but holy crap. I really didn't think it'd be that different, but playing this guy first, I kind of got used to it. And then playing this, it sounds like I'm playing it off of an iPhone or something. That sounded horrible compared to how this guy sounds. Um, hopefully that picked it up on the mic in the slightest bit so you guys can kind of get a gist, but in any sense, that is almost worth the upgrade in my opinion. Actually, that was really nice. But if you guys are using this with an external set of speakers, really you're not going to notice any difference, but wow, that sounds super good compared to its predecessor. Comparing this to like the Google Home Mini, this overall looks aesthetically a lot more pleasing and sounds a lot better in my opinion. Overall, it kind of reminds me more of like a HomePod Mini with this fabric on the outside of it. Um, and it just looks incredible, super simplistic. Again, this can be paired with a Bluetooth speaker as well, like a receiver. In that case, that's what I'm using with my Echo right here. But it was super simple to set up as well. Basically just launched the Amazon Alexa app. And then once inside that, navigated to a new device setup, selected Echo Dot and then basically entered my Wi-Fi password and all of my previous settings from this Alexa transferred over to this one, my Pandora, my Spotify, all of my Philips Hue settings so I can already be like, Alexa, turn on night mode. Okay. And without having to set up any new scenes or change any of the settings, this Alexa already has all of my previous settings that this one had just by pretty much signing in to the app. So super simple to transition over to a new Alexa if you guys wanted to upgrade. Um, in any case, I just wanted to share this quick video with you guys um, showing this guy off. It looks pretty incredible. It impressed me a lot more than I thought it would um, considering there really isn't much that's new with it aside from the design. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.